So this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well uh, Libra Rising weekly general tarot reading, uh, February twenty sixth, January twenty sixth, excuse me, to February second, uh, twenty twenty, and. Uh, in case any of you guys want to get uh, in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website. So now taking care of uh, that, taking care of, uh, we are moving on to the reading, which is going to be a, a seven cards uh, drawn in, str in string, meaning no particular position of any of it. It's just whatever the card shows, they show, so it doesn't get any more general than that. Uh, so the first one for you guys, uh, that is going to be the Hierophant. So on its own accord, the Hierophant points that that week is going to have a slow pace. Okay, so there are not going to be a crazy things happening here and there from all sides of uh, the spectrum. Now, instead of that, uh, the week is going to be rather take a more calm approach in regards to career and in regards to relationships as well. With the Hierophant, it is highly likely that throughout this week, you are going to use that calm environment rather to consult yourself with how you should proceed forward career wise or relationship wise that is it is because uh, there are to be there is to be an individual or a group of people which can offer you a, a benevolent support in terms of how you should tackle with your current undertakings so that's that on its own accord it does speak for rather more uh, meaningful and profound conversations for the um, issues in regards to the issues and plights that you are facing so you can find higher resolutions to those issues and to those plights now on a more practical level the hierophant here points that this week is going to be focused upon trust meaning you know boosting up the trust in between you and the people that you're tackling with and as well uh, how how can I say it more? I cannot say really exhilarating, but more like a um, peaceful performance into one's um, endeavors, especially if they are related to career wise. Now, the second card that we do have is again the Nine of Wands. I mean, the Nine of Wands in every single reading this week, for what it seems. So, uh, um, in in relation to the Hierophant here, uh, the Nine of Wands also points that throughout the week you can draw from the previous experience you do have and incorporate that experience into tackling with the challenges that you will have to face throughout the week. Now, as I said, the week is going to be peaceful, yeah, meaning predictable, but that does not mean that it's not going to be challenging. And the, Knights, the Nine of Wands, it does point that there are going to be certain things that you need to align align yourself toward meaning certain reshuffling into your strategy into your routine as well making those conscious changes which will allow you to um, face the ups and downs of uh, of the week with much uh, with much more ease and make them a much more bearable than you know they are uh, they usually are now the nine of wands as well it is like a uh, perseverance if you will through patience so don't take any uh, irrational decisions or irrational movements as well and as with the hierophant consult yourself before you take on any drastic measures in regards to your current endeavors either career wise or either relationship wise now the third card it is the full one and the card itself uh, it does refer to the results that you can um, that you can achieve throughout the week and those results with the full card are rather anybody's guess so for that reason the full card here it is a sign that you can actually or that you should go for a high hopes and high dreams as well so uh, that being said the full is rather more focused upon the end goal or the end game if you will rather than on, on um, uh, the current setbacks that may face or the current a uh, uh, resources that the four also face at that particular moment so uh, that kind of speaks libra that you are not going to be uh, say biased of how things are to proceed from now on forward either career wise or either relationship wise but instead um it's very difficult to explain but instead you are going to adopt more 
carefree standpoint be being more detached of a certainty of results and allowing yourself to hope for the best and therefore being preparing prepared for the worst simultaneously that behavior itself is going to attract a lot of attention so you can expect that uh, many people will want to get in touch with you or it kind of like to sh will want to share their um their day if you will or their time with you in any way possible now if the full card does refer to some sort of a uh, relationship cycle okay then that means that you should not take everything serious same thing goes in career as well if that is a, a business relationship so you should not take everything serious but rather look once again more to the overview rather than to the details at that point because with the details once again uh, we saw previously that you're going to have a benevolent support helping you to overcome those predicaments and those issues now the fourth card that we do have it is the four of swords and that is another card pointing that you should deliberate your next move especially with faithful companions and professional help as well now uh, i was not exactly sure if is the Hierophant referring to a professional help but now I do know so if you are planning a, a big step moving on forward that is the week where you consult yourself with professionalists like business advisors mm, medical doctor you know uh, a, a bank employee and so on and so forth so you can find out a what is the procedure if not the resolution of a future <clears throat> setbacks that may appear and just to give you an example uh here you may want to buy yourself or purchase yourself a, a a home let's say okay an apartment and these two cards are pointing that you should lead an, an extensive uh, negotiations with the bank that you want to get a mortgage from okay and that the fall here it is a, a sign that things can change in the future so you should not let your hopes run low if the bank at that point you know is kind of asking from you more than you can actually give because these things are in a fluctuation and you have to look toward the overview having an apartment rather than to the irritating details at this point that you have predicaments of getting this um, financial injection should i say because through those negotiations you can definitely find a way through now another thing with the four of swords it is that the card points that many of your worries that you are experiencing at that point are to become rather irrelevant meaning that they will simply not have any influence whatsoever upon the endeavors throughout the week however that should not be um how can I say it? you should not celebrate what you wait to click quickly because those problems they are not influencing you right now but they are going to come back and that's why throughout this week you need to address those issues while those issues are not in the platter at that point so you can prepare yourself when they come back when the, once they return you are fully prepared with your strategy how to tackle with them now the fifth card for you is going to be the three of wands and on top of that this week will allow you to um go for a bigger conquests okay with the three of wands now what the three of wands represents it is that you are to situate throughout that week in a very good position rather um, to step on a rather established patterns all right and the three of wands is the card pointing that the results by the end of the week is are going to completely match your expectations as well and that itself classifies you as a reaching to a let's say milestone all right but that does not unfold fully your potential now instead once you reach that point you should seek for a future challenges for yourself how you can um unfold your maximum potential with the three of wands or in another word said you have reached a good point of your life okay um a big majority of your expectations have been fulfilled here throughout this week but you should not stop there but instead think of how you can capitalize on those expectations and on those benefits moving on forward into the future therefore challenge yourself with a harder endeavors harder enterprises and more uh, once again a 
uh, are challenging situations for you to tackle on, uh, meaning bigger projects, you know, meaning more um, tougher people to be with and so on and so forth. So you can grow internally and outwardly as well. Uh, the sixth card for you guys is going to be uh, the Page of Pentacles. So we do have a person here that appears that that is stepping in into your environment. Uh, the way I see it uh, with uh, these cards is that the Page of Pentacles is very much liking the direction that you are going toward. As a matter of fact, they are finding it worthwhile investing in either emotionally or materi materially for that matter. And uh, it does look like as a, some sort of a, a proposition, if you will that uh, they will uh, find you and once again your um your endeavors worthwhile and uh, simply they will offer you a cooperation in one or the other way it could be emotional cooperation because the page of pentacles they throw their emotions fully into what is uh, what lies ahead meaning you in this case so that could be a proposition for a relationship here coming from this person now one thing you need to know about the page of pentacles they are usually very slow in performance and very indecisive when it comes to actually incorporating a strong actions and they are like followers so in that particular case you have to be the one who leads forward if this is a business or a personal relationship that is or that could be this page could be as well someone who helps you financially to get your um your home okay buying that apartment how the page is going to manifest is anybody's guest at that is anybody's guess at that particular point for you guys but one is certain here is that the page is going to contribute that person is going to contribute in a very positive way for your future growth in any kind of um, manifestation like business like relationship like friendship and so on and so forth and the final card for you libra here it is a, another person this is going to be the king of uh <clears throat> the king of wands so king of wands these are very uh, high expectations type of people they like challenges so they find you quite challenging for them not to overwhelm or not to overcome but let's say to compete with if you will and uh, the the king of wands they only drives themselves through ambition so for that particular point you are their ambition okay and they will try to transform that ambition into very very powerful drive moving on forward so the way i see that card here it is that there will be a competition in between the page and the king of wands trying to convince you in either of their points of view who is going to win your attention who is going to win your uh, incorporation if you will or who is going to win your heart now it does depend what you are expecting here from moving on forward into the future once again the page is marked by its devotion very devoted to you and to your enterprises the king of wands however uh it's someone who enjoys life so they like to party they like to go around they like to show themselves around they are people of the high expectations once again so there is no room for compromises moving forward with the king of wands however they always know what they want and they always Always, they they just don't um, leave things to be decided by faith but instead they're trying to alter everything that it is going on around so you will never get bored if you go for the king of wands um, for the king of wands option here at the end of the day so that being said Libra this was your weekly general tarot reading uh, January 26 to February 2nd 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we are going to see each other uh, next time until then bye